Hey guys, welcome back to the Surf and Turf podcast. As you notice, it's a little different this time. It's just me. Jimmy actually could not be around due to a holiday. You know, it's Thanksgiving. He's traveling a lot. But I do have a very special guest. He's actually walking over to his chair right now. So I want to introduce the one and only Jimmy. (laughs) Y'all thought. Y'all thought. So Jimmy's grandmother actually lives like 20 minutes away from me. Yeah, 25. Yeah. That's what GPS says. So it actually kind of worked out that we could just do the podcast in person. And I was like... I thought it at first. I was like, nah. Like, I kind of like the dynamic of like doing it on Discord and like just having like like our own little scenes. But then I was like, nah. We we got to do it in person. Like, I, I feel like it would be so much cooler. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so next step was to live <laughs> to go live on tour to the city coming near you. <laughs> oh my gosh! I keep pointing at the camera up there when I should be pointing here. Oh my gosh! So. How was your Thanksgiving? What did you accomplish on your? It was good. I um, I breathed first off. I was my mm-hmm. lungs worked. Um, uh, I ate a lot of food. Um, I only had one plate full of everything. Dude, let me tell you what. I had the worst stomach pains yesterday. Literally the worst day to have a stomach ache. Oh, like before you ate? Yeah. I thought you had a stomach ache because of what you <laughs> ate. You're like, oh, it's t- it's typical to have a stomach ache after Thanksgiving. Like, we're Americans. Of course. But yeah. no, I had a stomach... I woke up with a stomach ache and I was like, oh my gosh, this is literally the worst day. Like, I, all my family's coming over and my stomach is literally killing me. Until you died? I felt like I was going to at some points. Oh, and, like, okay. it wasn't even, like, one of those, like... It wasn't even one of those things that I was like, I just need to use the bathroom. I just need to go number two. Yeah. It was, like, one of those ones where I was like, I can't go number two. I really oh. want to go number two, but I can't. Oh. oh, my gosh, dude. It was the worst. Oh, my gosh. Well, you think it was good? Yeah, so... Other than that? It was, it was the first time hosting... In my new house, uh, my my mom came up, my stepdad, my brother and sister in law, and my two nieces, and you know we had a good time. We got we got some work done. You know when you own a house, you can always there's always work that you can do in a house, and so every time family comes over, we always do work. Literally every time. So we got a little bit of work done. You know we didn't work crazy. You know a couple hours. Uh, obviously took time to, to eat and, you know, spend time with family, but, um, yeah, we got a lot of work done. It was, it was good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. We had, uh, some second cousins come over. So a lot of people, and we, last year it was just immediate family, uh, mm-hmm. due to my one cousin was pregnant and who had been hosting. So, um, got to see some people I haven't seen in two years since before, since the Thanksgiving before. COVID, and honestly, that was the Thanksgiving before I moved to my job. So, like, I yeah. hadn't seen them since I started my job. Um, they had a kid in that time. Got to meet the kid. Um, yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, dude. Thank- I feel like Thanksgiving is literally the most underrated holiday. It, it yeah. is legit the most underrated holiday. I, I've i always... Okay, I'm a little biased because my birthday is around Thanksgiving. So, like, growing up as a kid, I was always like, oh, Thanksgiving, like... I get birthday presents and like, like, yeah. Excuse me. Like ninety five percent of the time, I would have off school. Yeah. Because yeah, it yeah. fell around like a school break or some kind of like first you know, day of hunting. Yeah, first day. Of, you know, we grew up in Hicktown, USA, <laughs> so it was like, oh, you always got off school because it was like the first day of hunting season. Literally, like the first two days normally. Oh yeah, yeah. You, the first yeah. one's like doe or buck or whatever. Yeah. Like. Like, people in California and, like, the West probably have... Or with... our European viewers. Oh, yeah, yeah. People in other countries are probably like, yeah. you guys got off the Monday after Thanksgiving? They're probably like, well, they're probably like, the ones in other countries are like, what's Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> that is true. What is Thanksgiving? But, <laughs> no, nah, it's 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 fun. I, I think it's a yeah. good... For it's sure. A, it's a good... It's a good time. For sure, yeah. I mean, I've... Always love Thanksgiving because you get to see more people. Because um, we normally, our Christmas is just like our immediate family. Mm-hmm. Um, but we've always had, like this year we had 12 people. Normally at Thanksgiving we've got like 
24 people. Yeah. So we cut in half. Um, just, we've lost a few, and others were coming because their grandparents were there, and now their grandparents are no longer around, so they don't come. But, uh, I got a, actually, it was awesome. My one really good friend lives, like, 45 minutes away from my grandma, so I gotta go visit him on Wednesday, and like we already said, Chicken lives 25 minutes from my grandma, so I gotta see both. Which is pretty awesome. Boom, boom, boom. And the rookie. The rookie was... Uh, oh, yeah. Not at my Thanksgiving, but was there Monday through Tuesday. Or For Wednesday. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah. So, I we, we've been doing this a lot. Where we kind of just don't have a topic <laughs> to talk about. Um, but I did want to talk a little bit about something that I saw in the news this week. And it was... And we talked about it a little bit. Uh, just a little bit ago about... Um, People actually going back to space. Oh yeah, and, and we talked about it for a little bit, but I don't think I ever got my like main point of, of, by like why I wanted to actually talk about it. Elon Musk, if you want to send me, I'll you pay my way. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, got you. I'll go to space. I don't think I could go to space. I think I'd be too scared. I probably couldn't either. I'd be mad, dude. I'm scared to fly. I thought you were gonna say I was thinking about using the bathroom in space. Oh my god! Yeah, I thought you were about to be like I'm too scared to flush. Oh my gosh! Do <laughs> you, you don't fly? Have you? You? I I was that's a dumb question. I've flown once in my life. It was an international flight. It was like seven. It was like seven hours long. There, it was like eight and a half back. Yeah. And I don't know. I, I knew you've done that. I was almost like, did you drive to the Netherlands? Yeah, did you drive over to Europe? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, to me, it's just like, I don't know. I, I just didn't like it for two reasons. One, it was like such a confined space. And like, I felt like I, I just needed to like get out. Like I needed to like to just get up and stretch and be in my own area for a little bit. And you can't really do that on a plane. Yeah. yeah like yeah. it's, it's pretty sociable. Yeah. And two, and this is kind of a more recent thing moving forward. COVID has just really affected travel. I mean, you yeah. can't like flying on a plane is, will never be the same. Yeah. I was actually, I was actually just, uh, listening to a radio show we used to listen yeah. to. Yeah. And Dr. Oz was on there, um, and he was talking about actually the air on the plane is like the most safe because they're mostly pumping in the air from outside yeah. the plane, uh -huh. and there's no COVID up there. Yeah. So he's he was saying he thinks we will continue to keep masks on. Yeah. Getting mm -hmm. to the plane when you're in your seat, take them off. Yeah. But yeah, I mean I've flown a lot. Um, my cousin lived in Texas. For most of my life, and so we would fly down to visit. So on my first flight, I was probably two. Oh my gosh! My we actually were just talking about this. My cousin flew up from Texas, and he flew up with a girl he goes to school with, who also lives in this area. Oh really? Um, yeah. Like they weren't, they're not friends or anything. Just their parents met at orientation, and we're like, oh, we're from the same area. Let's schedule flights together. And the girl was freaking out. She was like, ah. they, she checked the luggage and she was like, I don't know where my luggage is. Oh, the, the one text sent her mom was, Mom, please sedate me. And I started laughing. Uh, <laughs> Wait, where'd they fly into? Philly. Okay. And then, like, she was texting and calling her mom because we were on the side of the road with her mom hanging out. Um, and she kept calling her mom, freaking out. Texting her mom like every second, like updates. And then we were like, Oh my god. We were gosh. like, Hey, I was like, Hey, and Kathy, you get anything from Cole? Nah, nope. And he was just, we were like, <laughs> We were like, She's probably like pacing on freaking out. He's probably just like, and yeah, but, really. but Cole's been flying since he was flying alone since he was eight years old. Yeah. So it was like, no, nah, that makes sense. And it was her first time flying uh, without her parents or something. Yeah. It was just Cole that she, like, kind of knew. Yeah. But, yeah. No, So, going sense. back to space. For, I don't know I, if I could, actually. I don't think I could. Because I get I get oh. car sick, so I feel like I'd be like, let's go. And then, like, and then you'd, yeah, like. I would just throw up. I just don't think I'd want to, like. I feel like my, like, because I don't have, like, a huge fear of heights. 
Yeah. It's more of just like a if I was plummeting above yeah. that high, I'd be like, my fear of heights is now a thing. Yeah. I would just be like, I might die. But yes, your gravity would be, would be weird. So, why I wanted to talk about this is, you know, the, you see all these things recently where, like, basically, they're going to send anybody into space. Like, as long as you have enough money, they'll send you to space. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I totally agree with that. And, like, people that have gone... Just to like the space, or, t like, just like what Jeff Bezos did? Yeah. Like, the so get like, into space yeah, and come back down? You're, like, in space. But, like, the thing is, like, I don't like that they're calling these people astronauts. Yeah. Because they're not it takes really away, astronauts. It takes away from those who've, like, like done greater things. Imagine imagine you you've trained for years to be an astronaut. Literally, like those those trains yeah. are years long. Like, and then you go up into space and you're gone from your family yeah, for like years. Yeah, like you could and be then, in space for months. Yeah, in the International Space Station. Yeah, and like they, you know, these are legit things. And then people that just have a butt ton of money are paying to go up for like five minutes, and then they're like, "Oh, they're now astronauts." And I'm like, I mean. Maybe? I, I don't know. Like, as, as someone... Because I, I think of myself as an engineer. Something that's, you know, pretty prestigious. There's, you know... Mm -hmm. I, I thought about this, like, a while ago. I thought, you know, like, hey, I remember being a freshman in college in my engineering seminar, pretty much. And there was, like, hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. Like, hundreds of people in these freshman seminars. And when we graduated, there was, like, 20 of us. Mm. So, like, we're talking, like, 10%. And, mm -hmm. like, I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm, like, proud to be an engineer because, you know, not everybody can make it through. Not everybody has the dedication. And, like, if yeah. I knew someone just kind of, like, walked on and was like, oh, hey, I got, like, $10,000. Can I pay you to have an engineering degree and they're like, like yeah no it's about drive it's about power we stay hungry we devour put in the work put in the hours and take it what's ours <laughs> you're the worst oh my gosh but like i think of, i think of, i can't no so like i i stop i can't believe you said that <laughs> the fact that okay let's segue for a second the fact that like he made that song i'm just like why like why like first of all you already have an immense amount of money like Dwayne the rock johnson is probably one of the richest actors mm -hmm. on the earth if not if he is the richest he might actually be I don't know. I feel like Tom Hanks is probably up there. Nah, yeah, Tom Hanks is probably up there. Leonardo DiCaprio. There, you know, there's a bunch of people that are probably up there, but like he's he's probably up there too. But like, why would you like Johnny Depp? Maybe. So I just saying actors' names. No. <laughs> like, why would you? I just don't understand. Like, why he would be like, oh, I want to be in a song, and it's like, because why not? I don't know. It's mean. such a rock song, too. Dude, I'm going to become a WWE wrestler and come out to that song. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude, I'm surprised someone hasn't done that. Yeah, I was going to say, I would think that's going to happen soon. Like, I we're, we're pretty big WWE fans, and I'm surprised that no one has done that yet. Like, yeah. to be honest. That'd be really funny. Oh, my gosh. But it's for the memes. <laughs> yeah, for the memes. But, like... Like I think of someone like back to back to what we were talking about. I think of someone like Lori Lof Lofman that literally Lachlan? paid <laughs> Lori Lachlan, whatever her name is, Becky from Full House. Huh, Aunt Becky. Yeah, Aunt Becky. Like you know, but, uh, that's the thing. Like people, people mostly are like, "Who's this Lori lady? Like, what what'd she do so bad?" And they're like, "You don't know who Aunt Becky is." And they're like, "Oh, Aunt Becky." And it's like, okay, yeah, yeah sure. But, like, you think of, like, all the scandals that she got in for literally paying for her kids to get That's into true. UCLA. That's like, true. that was, like, a major thing. And at the end of the day, she served, like, two weeks in a petty jail. Like, 
like uh, that's a whole uh, we're not we don't talk politics but you know you think of like that kind of that caliber and like what money can get people is like insane mm -hmm. like people you literally could just flash money at people and they would start doing things for you like it's sad like Oh my gosh, I knew you were gonna do this. Just flash money for you. Do the chicken dance. Do the chicken dance. I'm not kidding. I'll bark like a dog. Roof. <laughs> <laughs> no. I want comfy. Where's my leash? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay well, no, we're definitely. Not. <laughs> we're, we're definitely not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wolf.com. I don't know why I thought of that. Is that what you thought of? <laughs> Not until you said it. <laughs> We're peeking at my laugh. My laugh is probably the loudest thing I've done in this podcast. <laughs> Wolf.com. Wolf.com. Alright. So, going back to things, are we done with the... Yeah, we're done. Going back to Thanksgiving, are you someone who is like, art Christmas tree up now? I mean, I know the answer because... Um... I don't see a Christmas tree. It is actually upstairs. My, oh, if actually? It, if it wasn't for me, uh, if it wasn't for my wife, I probably wouldn't have put it up yet. My wife is much of a... Uh, hey, like, let's, let's start putting up Christmas decorations. Like, fall is pretty much over at this point. Like, let's start, you know, into the winter theme of stuff. And, yeah. and it's not really, like, a Christmas thing for me. It's more of, like, a, hey, like, it's winter. Like, let's start doing but winter stuff. But it's not stuff. winter. It is going to be winter in, like, literally, like, a week. No, it's not. December 21st. It's oh, my gosh. Winter. Stop. Okay. Anyways. I'm a fall baby. Fall baby? <laughs> Okay, while well, Jimmy <laughs> pulls himself together. <coughs> <coughs> wow, Jimmy pulls himself together. Oh, yeah. Oh, <coughs> um, yeah, I think we, I usually put out our Christmas <laughs> day. I took a drink <laughs> right as I did that. I almost threw it all over you. I bucked out for a second too. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh! Okay, well, now <coughs> now that we're back here, sorry guys. Yeah, I don't. We we're kind of weird, where I don't. <coughs> where I don't. I don't know, but yeah, we have our Christmas decorations up already. We don't have a tree though. We have a small tree. We're waiting to get a big tree until, like, after Christmas because all the places are like, hey, whatever uh, trees we have left, we're going to sell them at, like, half price because we need to get rid of them, you know? Yeah. <coughs> oh, my gosh. I can't even, like, speak. <laughs> yeah, I really thought I was going to spew all, all <laughs> over you. I, I said it. <laughs> I drank a drink of water, and then I realized what I said. <laughs> and then you're like, oh. <laughs> and then, like, I tried to swallow, so I didn't spew, and it went down the wrong tube. But, like, <laughs> yeah, I feel... Then I, I, feel then like I blacked it. out. <laughs> and then you blacked out. <coughs> I feel, like, growing up, or is that... Even, like, growing up, we didn't put out Christmas decorations. This weekend. Really? Saturday after Thanksgiving, we put up Christmas decorations. My See, mom would. We never put up Christmas decorations until like a couple weeks into December. That's like what my mom would do. Like when we talk about hunting, the first couple of days off of hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She would always decorate for Christmas. So we brought up this question. The next big question is how long is the Christmas tree allowed to stay up after Christmas? You're going to make fun of me. You may already know this answer. Why? Last year. Oh, I think I do. I got, a, like, a big Christmas tree. I got it right before Thanksgiving, and I knew I was going to be home for Christmas for a long time. So, 
I put up the Christmas tree before Thanksgiving. My family made fun of me for it. Got home, Christmas is over, and I was like, ah, I like this Christmas tree. When do you think I took it down? Probably like March. I didn't take it down. Oh my god. Dave took it down for me, like the last week of March. Oh my god. Easter was the next week. Oh my gosh, this guy straight had his Christmas tree up right until Easter. Oh yeah, dude, I gosh. liked it. That's I, I, Dave is coming up in a couple weeks, so I think I'm going to make him put the tree back up. Oh my gosh, you took it down you, to put it back I told him that, I was like, you gotta put it back up when you come out. That's kind of funny. And you're going to have to take it down again. That's kind of funny. Because I didn't want to... Well, I never finished decorating it, so I was just like, eh, I'll finish decorating it. And then, like, in March, I was like, I probably should never finish oh decorating it. Oh, my gosh. It. And I did. And then I was like, I don't want to put these ornaments away, so I just left them on the tree. I left the tree up. That's not a bad idea, honestly. No. I feel like I was, I was going to say something when you brought up the thing. Oh, that's what I was going to say. You know, I never... I never thought that it's about Thanksgiving again. Um, and it's about what you eat at Thanksgiving. I never yes. realized that filling was actually supposed to be inside the turkey. I was going to tell you so, to do something for me, but then I forgot. What? Yeah, you should stuff the turkey. We never did that growing up. My really? mom legit never stuffed the turkey. This is the best way She to... always just made it on the side. Stuffing is my favorite food. And we, like, we all, it's so much better stuffing the turkey. Have I not told you that on Thanksgiving morning I get up at 6.30 yeah. mm -hmm. to stuff the turkey? Yeah. And you didn't realize it? No. Or was that I, when you realized no, it? No, I knew, I figured it out just like a couple years ago. But for the longest time, I never knew why, why people it's called, called stuffing. it stuffing. Yeah, yeah you I stuff never, the turkey. I never knew that's why it was called or stuffing filling. or filling. Fill yeah. turkey, yeah. I, I just thought it was like, oh, why do we call it corn? I mean, someone, you know, randomly yeah. came up with it. Did you cook the turkey this year? Um, or did you go get it from somewhere? Or did your mom bring it? Or My mom brought it, actually. So, when I got up at six thirty, stuffed the turkey. My grandma took this up because, like, you know, when you get the turkey, the, like the hearts in it, the necks in it, you got to pull that out. Yeah. Well, when I was stuffing the turkey, I was like, "There's not very much room this year in this turkey," mm -hmm. and I was like, "Why is there no room in the turkey?" Well, then we got it out of the oven, and <laughs> the neck was still in it. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Hey guys. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see what we're doing right now. If you're audio only, I'm sorry. You're mad confused. Yeah, you really are. I kept forgetting when I walked away. You guys couldn't hear or see me. That probably was really weird for you uh, listeners. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, uh, straws. <laughs> we're not talking about straws anymore. <laughs> you... You know, we talked about something earlier today, and I, I want to get your opinion on it because you work with kids and you work with the next generation, and you mm -hmm. see you see what the next generation is literally like. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to talk about this on the podcast at some point, and I thought maybe we could do it today. Um, but we were talking earlier about like my brother works for my brother is also an engineer. He works for an electric company. Mm -hmm. And, like, part of their issue is, like, finding people to work. Like, they can't find people, like, they can't find, like, laborers, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, so, like, a laborer would be, like, a general position. Like, you don't really need college degree. You don't need, like, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Like, you you know, like, maybe, like, Votech. Maybe yeah. if you guys don't know what, like, Votech is, like, a trade school. Yeah, like a trade, go to, like, a trade school or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Um, they need like maybe something like that, but they don't even need that. They they just need to be like there, you know. Mm -hmm. They might have like a little bit of requirements, like a high school diploma probably, and like I think he said like they like to see a CDL. Um, but like he said, they they have a terrible time working, and it's like they're paying these people like good money, like thirty bucks an hour, mm -hmm. and like they just can't get them to work. They're like lazy, like they just don't want to work. Yeah. And like I'm thinking to myself, and like my stepdad, he's he's um, in his early sixties, 
And I'm thinking to myself, and he says the same thing. He's like, you know, we can't get people to work, like, all these young people. And, like, even young people, like, don't want to go to – he's a mechanic. Like, young people don't want to work on cars anymore. Yeah. Like, they, they don't want to do that. They want something, like, easier. And, like, I thought to myself, I was like, at what point, like, is, is like, our generation – the next generation, the generation after that, like when, when it, or when, when are they just gonna like <laughs> not do anything, like literally nothing? Well, I mean, I don't know. It depends. So one of the things that, I, and I at a public school we heard this all the time. So I'm kind of curious to know what you heard mm-hmm. at, at like a private school. Mm-hmm. At a public school, whenever you're moving from the next school to the next, or, like, even grade to grade, mm-hmm. like, and when I say next school to the next, I mean, like, Middle elementary school, school, school yeah, 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 like, stuff like that, we would always hear, oh, they're not going to let you guys get away with this in middle school. Yeah. Oh, they're not going to let you guys get away with this in high school. Oh, you're not going to be able to get away with this in college. Did you hear that? Yeah, like, oh, you're, well, I mean, I was still at the public school when I heard this a lot, but, oh, uh... When you get to middle school, or when you get to fourth grade, you're only going to be able to... you're all, From here on out, you're only going to be able to write in cursive. Yeah. Like, the real world, everybody writes in cursive. So, like, after third grade, <laughs> everybody writes in cursive. And you're not going to be able to succeed if you don't know how to write in cursive. When's the last time you've written uh, something in cursive that's not your name? <laughs> probably, like... Fourth grade, <laughs> the, or the or the uh, SATs, maybe yeah. Because I remember when I took the SATs for the first time. We went to uh, I'm almost the Oxnard area, mm-hmm. but we went to um, a bigger high school. Yes, to, I know. I know what you're talking about. Probably the same one I took the SATs at. Probably, um, a school I'd never been to, and I was sitting there. I didn't know anyone in there. And they were like, all right, you have to write this sentence Mm -hmm. in cursive. And we were all like, uh... And I remember having to, like, cheat off the person next to me. Like, the teacher let me. Because, like, we were all writing the same thing. Yeah. But I was like, hey, how do you write a a capital, like, T in cursive? Like, I didn't know. Oh, my gosh. Like, I knew how to spell my name. I almost spelled my full name on the podcast, and that would not have been good. <laughs> Dude, I'm curious to know if they even teach cursive in school anymore. I don't know. I gotta ask my mom. She teaches third grade yeah. teacher. Ask her, seriously. Yeah, I will. But like, call us her right now. Just call her right now. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. But like, the thing about saying like, they're not gonna get, let you get away with this. Like, you brought up a good point with cursive, mm-hmm. and then you never used it moving on. So, yeah. like, is my thing, were they trying to scare you into believing that's what you needed to do so you would prepare for it? Or has the future generations, or not the future generation, has the future of us going in and the generations, be, or, you know, the generations behind us just lowered their expectations enough of us that they don't expect that anymore? Probably. Which I don't want that to be the case because yeah. that kind of scares me. Yeah, I totally agree. Because, like, here's the thing. If you quit your job today uh-huh. and they hired someone for your job tomorrow and uh-huh. said, Hey, Jimmy, would you mind staying around and like, and, like for a week and telling this guy kind of what you did? Would you have the same expectations on that person that you had on yourself for that job? Mm, probably not. Like, and, and not like, I'm not, right I, I, I'm not saying like, I'm not saying like, would you have the same expectations of what you do in your job? Cause I know a lot of your job right now is probably not what you even expected you'd be doing yeah. when you got there. It's more just like the lines of like, would you expect that person to be able to do what you no. did? No. Yeah. If they were starting off brand new now. And then, like, maybe after a couple months, you'd be like, yeah, maybe they'd get there. Mm-hmm. But, like, that's that's kind of, like, what I'm scared of is, like, are the past... Well, mine's there, too, because a lot of my job's relational. Yeah, and that's you true. can't, okay, like, Yeah, judge, that's so true. You can't really, like, you can't... You can't just get a relationship with someone right away. That's true, yeah. It takes time to build that. But, like, I even think of, like, even just the youth pastors that we've had... <laughs> 
Like, just like in the age gap that they were, like how different they were. Yeah. Based on the ages they were. Yeah. Like, and just kind of the expectations they had and the, and the drive they had and the work they had. I mean, even even at the churches, even at the churches like nearby that were in the same denomination. I mean, one of the oldest youth pastors in the denomination is one of the best, mm-hmm. one of the most well-known youth pastors mm-hmm. in the denomination that we grew up in mm-hmm. is literally the oldest probably is. He probably is. No, nah, there's some of them that are up there. I, yeah, but he's one of them. Yeah. Easily one of the older ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's the best, mm-hmm. if if not one of the best. I'd yeah. You'd probably say he is the best. I'm the best. Oh, my gosh. Jimmy's actually the best guy. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah. It's, I'm now, like, that's a weird thing. Like, he's, like, like, almost like a co-worker. Yeah. Because, like, I'm in Facebook groups with him. Yeah. Like, email him <laughs> about things and stuff, which and is kind of weird. And it's literally, like, you. we used to look at him, like, as a youth pastor. Yeah, and be like, oh. Like, oh, he's so cool. Like, oh, we should go to his church, like, once in a while. Yeah. Like, just to check it out, like. Yeah, for sure. And now you're like, oh, he's kind of like my coworker. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That is kind of weird. It, it was weird when I was put in the group. The first time I was put in the group chat. Because there's, like, a group chat of all the youth pastors. Or, like, yeah. a Facebook group of all the youth pastors in the denomination. And I was like, whoa. Because <laughs> it was, like. It was like all these guys that have been youth pastors my entire life that I've known yeah. since I was like a little kid. And now I was like, oh, I'm one of them. And so then some of my buddies who were in there too. And then I was like, oh, okay. That's weird. But That is kind of weird to think about. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I. it's crazy to think that like just how, how much we're going to lower our expectations. Just like. Yeah, that is I we were talking. Something we talked about Thanksgiving was uh, now that most of the generation now, like remember growing up, what did you want to be when you were a little kid? Like probably, like some kind of like service role. Like like what I mean is like I I wasn't like Do you oh want to I- be a servant. Oh my gosh. No. Like, I wasn't like, oh, I want to go to college and be like a businessman. Like, I was like, oh, I want to be a firefighter. Like, yeah, something that's what like I that. Meant. Yeah. yeah like, like, like something like me. Firefighter, yeah. astronaut. Oh, I want to be a police officer. Like, something yeah. like, like easy. I wanted to, in middle school, I wanted to be an inventor. Wait, a what? An, an inventor. Oh. I wanted to invent stuff. I wanted to invent, what was the one? A self cleaning toilet seat. Oh my gosh. That sanitized after every use. <laughs> and then the car toilet. What? A toilet that was like a seat and you press the button and like the seat cushion like slid away and it was just a toilet. And you don't have to stop to use the bathroom. You could just use the bathroom in your car. <laughs> what? And just go out the bottom? And just... <laughs> I didn't figure that part out. T- RVs have them. Yeah, but like an RV is big enough to have like a waste tank. What? <laughs> Just hits the road, bounces up into the next person. I'm not an engineer. Job. That's your job. I'm just the inventor. I come up with the ideas. It just like flings out the side and hits the person behind your windshield. And they just got poop all over their windshield. <laughs> then they crash. Oh, it's a nice tape. <laughs> Oh, I got real booby real quick. <laughs> today, today on the highway, there was a five car wreck due to a large turd. <laughs> okay, we need to stop. <laughs> we need to stop talking about poop. Man. No, but but why I brought that up? Is now most of the kids would say social media influencers. Be internet famous. I wanna be the next Logan Paul. Or like they say like, oh I wanna I wanna like run a biz like I wanna be a, a president of like a business. Yeah. And like they, they wanna like not do anything. They just wanna make a bunch of money. Yeah, yeah I wanna be well, social media influencer. Yeah, that's what or it looks that. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna be the next swag block. That's what that's what I wanna do when oh I grow up. Shout out to our homeboy. I actually met him today. Shout out to our homeboy. The, homeboy Swaglock. The underscore Swaglock. If he's yeah, listening. You better be listening. Or I'll find you. I know where you live now. 
But yeah, no, that, that's a good point. Like, there's there's not really like be like, and like I thought about this too. What is there ever going to be a point where like people just don't like Work. the fort? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Like, when is it going to be that the the forty hour work week normal is going to be thirty five, and then it's going to be thirty, and then it's going to be twenty five? Yeah, but the issue you know? with that is then you run out of like service things done to you, and then people will get like it's yeah, that's because like if no one's working in the nursing homes, that's an issue. If no one's working in the hospitals. Yeah, that's an issue. If no one's working the restaurants or like Uber drivers, walking Uber drivers aren't like nine to five. Yeah, jobs or like DoorDash. But like, I think there's like so many people that just don't work that like maybe if if they realize, hey, I don't have to work a forty hour week, that maybe they would. You know, mm. and, and maybe I'm just like wrong, but like I feel wrong. like <laughs> wrong, 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 wrong. I feel like <laughs> I don't know why that's making you laugh. Um, <laughs> it was just wrong, wrong, wrong. Burp. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, I dude, I I fear the next generations. Like I really do. I think our expectations are just gonna be so low that like. Yeah, I mean. There's, there's a lot, I mean, the generation below, like, below us, like, the, or like, I guess we're, like, kind of bordering of Gen mm-hmm. Z, uh, it's very, it's a very passionate generation. Yeah. And, like, can, although cancel culture can be a bad thing, like, they could all, it could also be used for good. Like, imagine, mm-hmm. like, as a youth pastor, I think, imagine if they use that, if, like, enough of them, like, Got behind that for Christianity, like the yeah, oh yeah, yeah. the power could do is they could just use that for good instead of trolling. Like I mean, like TikTok comments are mm-hmm. brutal. Yeah, but I think we're gonna wrap it up here. If you got this far, Christmas reference, wrap it up. Wrap it up here. If you got this far, and well, I was gonna say sorry for the audio, but if you got this far, then obviously the audio might not be an issue for you. Maybe but, when I was dying. Yeah, but the audio might be a little bit uh, less in this. Uh, we we tried to set it up so it's a little bit better for you guys, but bear with us. We'll be in our normal setup uh, next week, but yeah. Yeah. I think that's uh, that's it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Catch you on the flippity flop. You can follow me at www.pbs.org. Really? Just kidding. No. That'd be kind of Are cool. you author? <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me at Uneven Shrimp. We had shrimp yesterday at Thanksgiving, and I told my cousins, I was like, ha, you're eating me. And they're like, what? <laughs> what? You're eating me. And I told them, and my one cousin was like 40, was like, what was the movie he referenced? Oh, he was like, you know, the diary, hey, uh, Vanessa, that's his wife, you know what the diary room became movie we watch? He does what that one guy does. And I guess there's a Twitch streamer in it. And they, they, he was like, isn't that cool? He streams video game commentary. And I was like, yeah, I got 100 followers. Yeah. So follow me at Uneven Shrimp. Twitch TV is so Uneven Shrimp. Or, I mean, if you're on YouTube, it's in the description. All of my links. And you can follow me at twitch.tv slash, uh, I don't know. I was going to try to make a joke. About like hot tub streams only or something. Um, ASMR ear licking streams. <laughs> Stop. I'm chicken finger licking good. No. Okay. Um, yeah. But you guys know where to follow me. And yeah. we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>